turn that loop off. Hold on. There we go. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Saturday Night Insanity. <coughs> that, that was more badass in my mind. Hi. How's it going? Where are we going? Where's... My camera's all weirdly positioned. I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. There. That'll do. Get Dracula in the background. All right, cool. Let's loop it throughout SNI, eh? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't do that. Uh, hello, boys. And lady. <laughs> and lady. Yes, my girlfriend, Jamie. Of course, she's currently on a phone call with her daughter. Awesome. Oh. Hey, lady. Rock that phone <laughs> call. Oh. Phone. Ness. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hi. It's going. Hey. Yay. Yay. I, I got some pizza rolls. <laughs> this... <Can> really though? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> so what's going on? What's happening? What's going down in Groove Town then? Um, uh, watching the Overwatch Stage One Finals while we're doing this, oh. but I'm watching through this tiny little hole in my between my mic and, uh -huh. and like the cable and shit because it hangs in front of the screen. All right, are the people that you are cheering for winning? Um, <laughs> the people I was cheering for were out of the playoffs last week, but oh. that um, sucks. the other people who I'm I'm kind of keen on winning are currently steamrolling the other team, but the other team is good that I want so good that I want them to win another game so that they can play one more match. Cause, ah, nice. Yeah. Cool. All right. Excellent. Um, I have no pickups this week. It is a pickup list I have for three. me. Oh. I've got a bunch. I, I have on. I one that I have been obsessed with for the last three or four days. Two, I get three, paid on four, Thursday, five, so I six, might seven, have eight. a couple of things by eight. next week. I, should mention, I got eight things. I should mention also, I go back to nights as of tomorrow. Which, which means plus, what for us? Well, on the plus side, it means I can stay up late tonight, so I might do something after the show of some kind. Um, oh, cool. But for next week, it means probably a later show. I, I get home, I'll be getting home around 11. So, I don't know. Oh, okay. There you go. That's, basically that's, that's doable. That'll suck. Yeah, at least I got a heads up on the East Coast, but uh, those of you on the West Coast, hey, thanks for the follow, ITV One HD. And uh, you guys don't even yeah. know this is actually an improvement. Normally we get last minute notice, so it's thank like, you. Oh yeah, have, have hey, personal growth. <laughs> so I go, yeah. By the way, you know. I changed nights three days ago and forgot to tell you. So no SNI this week. Five minutes before showtime. Yeah. <laughs> that has, no, uh, it's usually earlier in the day, but yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. It's, it's no big deal, because I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything. Correct. <laughs> Please stop but spamming yeah. links in the chat. Thank you very much. I'm not playing that. Well, you All right. win, because I'm not I'm, playing that's that. That's it. You win the dare. <laughs> yeah. Post the last uh, warning. Yeah, post the link. That's your only warning. Yeah. I, that's, I have a no policy. No, uh... A no policy. He has no policy. I have a, I have, no. <laughs> I have a zero tolerance policy with links. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm cool with a later show next week. I am off next Sunday. Sweet. Oh, sweet. There you go. So... Yeah, at the moment my days off are wonky. I get, like, uh, Monday, Tuesday. Which is good for me, being customer service, because I don't have to deal with all the angry Monday people that don't know that we're open all weekend and didn't call until Monday and just spent all weekend getting progressively angrier to call in on Monday. So don't, don't forget we made plans for Monday. And then the angry people who decided not to call in on Monday, knowing that the phone lines would be jammed. So saved all their anger an extra day to call in on Tuesday instead. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> is this Sean? that's your, no. that's your warning it's reminder. I, we I have a plans to, on Monday. I don't have to deal Remember. with any of those people. I start on Wednesday. Everybody's chill by Wednesday. It's going to be great. You have a policy? No policy? Nah, that's for you. Policy. You're not a mod? Just over the weekend. 
I have a policy with no policies. Well, good for you. I can ban you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I'm just saying. No. But he could. Sorry, Eric. If he so choo. Choo choosed. Yeah. Choo choosed. I chose it. That's no link. That's the greatest horror known to Choose high school. <sighs> <laughs> ah, JL I, I think says, it might not even going next joined. week. We're now in for a fog advisory. Hey, no worries, man. Fuck. <clears throat> Many of our viewers have autism. Many of my friends have autism. autism yeah, yeah. People rock. It's fine. Oh, it's cool. I gave you a warning. We're all good. In it's fact, all good, dude. One of mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of my. I'm just. A, I'm just a. I'm just a very strict mod. So. Actually, a few of my longest. Uh, lasting youtube friends have autism and they are awesome yeah um, many of the people on our discord have autism i mean yes you know. or on the spectrum somewhere <laughs> yeah it's a very wide spectrum. it is what it is yeah yes so it a is. lot of things happened this week did it i didn't even notice i've been so wrapped up in myself i haven't even noticed oh, hey <laughs> awesome that you saw they announced more star wars stuff that's probably not gonna happen on your 16th birthday that's pretty sweet I just saw it myself, actually, uh, about a, not even a week ago. I was going to film a review this week, but then I decided, you know what? I'm going to watch it again, because there was so much to take in. I need to see it again. <laughs> Hold the fuck on. I got to gotta screen cap that. Zach feels that that is... I got to screen cap that. Hold the fuck on. Or something? I don't know. <laughs> in the chat. Okay. Was... How pretentious I was going art to school so of you. Huh? I was just going to no! be so impressive. You're going to watch a movie twice. That's true. Twitch, stop moving my chat. I'll move it when I'm ready. Quick, everybody say things. Yeah, Can I really enjoyed it. Ah, got it. Fuck you. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. No. In the... Hold on. I got to... That's, that's oh, going to go in the chat. private okay. chat. Not put in the private on. chat. Hold on. So, supposedly... Thing... For posterity. Things happened this week. Oh, yeah. There. Actually, we did get some Star Wars announcements, didn't we? There's, like... Two, uh, yeah. two non-episode yeah. related Star Wars series is in the works, apparently. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. not even all the Star Wars news, either. There's, uh, there's what? the Ryan Johnson trilogy, which I think is going to be episodes, actually. And then there's, uh, there's it might another be. series, not necessarily a trilogy, but series of films from, uh, what's his face? David Benioff and David Weiss. Or the, the Game of Thrones guys. D.B. Weiss, yeah. Those guys, D.B. Weiss. The two the guys days. from Game I don't, of Thrones. I don't mind the deluge of Star Wars, honestly. I'm good with it. There you go. And uh, Also, we got, got our we got, first look at Han Solo movie. At Solo, yeah. We got the Solo teaser. And uh, the one uh, YouTube friend of mine who is the biggest <laughs> Star Wars nerd I know was the most underwhelmed by it. <laughs> I'm like, really, dude? Come on. You're being too harsh on it. I That's thought it looked fun fine. You know? I mean, honestly, the stories of young Han Solo in his roguish days, that's that's something I've always wanted to see. Yeah, me so, too. I'm I mean, they had books for him. They were pretty good. Yeah, like Han Solo at Star's End. I, I've got that one. There was a couple yeah. other ones, too. But There um, was a trilogy, and there was, I think, another, another... There was a Lando trilogy as well, like early days yes. of Lando. Yeah. That's not canon, though, I believe. I think some shit in that got counteracted oh, really? and definitely not canon. Or maybe it's... The, one of them's not... I'm pretty sure that one's the one that's, not, that's not, not, not canon. It was, like, before the 90s push for, uh, for like, strict continuity. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. The only thing that made it out of the out of the eighties was Splinter of the Mind's Eye. That's the only thing that was canon. Yes. Out of the eighties, basically. The first ever story uh, outside of the movies. Yes, cool. yes, it is. The uh, Splinter, of the Mind, Splinter of the Mind's Eye is actually the very first. Um, it is. Extra thing for Star Wars. I think it came out even before the Marvel comics, didn't it? The extra universe. It did. Yeah. The, uh, well, I, I think, wasn't sure. Yeah, I think, I think it did. I forget. Actually, no. The comics. I guess the comics technically would have been first, but. Uh, Ooh, that's a bingo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit, Jeremy! Who I think it is. It is. It's Mafia Man. 
Holy shit. <laughs> That's going back a bit, eh? How goes it? It goes fine. It goes well. You have gained some facial hair. Like more than before. Some? It's been that long. You look like you just came just out. Just a little bit. <laughs> but living in the wilderness in the past My robe, years. my beanie, which is Voltron, my fucking Voltron scarf. Yes! And my best slippers in the world. <laughs> Dog pool. <laughs> nice. That's it's awesome. like the fucking Christmas story, but Deadpool. We, uh, actually, that's another oh. thing that happened this week. We got the Oh, Deadpool. I get it. Okay, sorry. I was mm -hmm. French class. Okay, we got the, 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 the Deadpool, Deadpool 2 uh, teaser. I don't know this language, <laughs> sir. A couple of <laughs> amusing posters as well. Actually, really, I'll see if I can find the, the one here that I really dug. It was uh, I love how... Uh, Ryan Reynolds actually posts all the Deadpool promotional stuff on his own official Facebook with, like, amusing comments. I love Ryan Reynolds. He's the man. God, I love him. My the face way, when I laughed dog. just now was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You've heard about ugly, la ugly crying. Well, Raz is doing ugly laughing for us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been there at one point. <laughs> Especially with that fucking voice box. Oh I missed that effects box. Seriously. Uh, it it died unceremoniously and suddenly and unexpectedly and I We, we need I to make wept. we need I someone needs to make Indie Go Go I need to go a uh, fucking GoFundMe so we can get him a new FX box. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah oh, wait Raz is here. You know Welcome Raz. Yeah. This is a oh, full wait. fucking show I think. One, two, three. Welcome well, to several minutes ago. Nope. <laughs> yeah, welcome to several I'm minutes. sorry, I'm like on five different windows right now, okay? Alright. I'm talking oh, in the Andy. chat here. Dealing Fine. with people in Discord who want to join the Hangout. I'm dealing with, uh, I got World's Finals are actually on break right now. I can't use that excuse. Anyway, um, <laughs> doing things, you know. I've almost got I it. Literally just, I literally just exhausted myself watching New Beginnings, so I figured, why not come in? I don't I'm know still awake. I don't New Beginnings? Oh, the oh. Doctor Who set. Oh, no, that? No. Oh, okay. No, no, never mind. Different New no, Beginnings. No, the... New, New Japan? Japan? Oh, it was New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I watched it last night yeah. live. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know anything about I that. I didn't see the final because I fell asleep, but I finished it this morning. Here we are. Well, it was, Sorry, it, it took good. forever, but there good it is. Because, like, it fucking starts at 1.30 here on the, on the Pacific time, a.m. that is, and, like, it went until, like, 4.30 in the morning, and, like, I'm going to bed now. Fuck. Got dead. Right, <laughs> like, well. We got dead, right, Deadpool well, doing the even, flash dance thing. It's even worse here because it's like three or four <laughs> in here. Oh, that's beautiful! That teaser poster with a rain of a rain of shells. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> I want that poster. That part, that yeah. poster's legitimately sexy. Ah, uh, yeah, it's awesome. That's great. <laughs> I need to watch Sorry, it again because I haven't seen it in since it was. No, you're, you're cool. You're cool. I, I watched. I was just that. gonna say since I got since I got Fire TV now, I can actually see. Everybody's pickups, like I, I can look up here. And see. There you go. Huh. And of course, so. you get you you get this capability the week I don't have any. <laughs> of course I do. Sorry. Of I do. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. But hey, at least at least I subscribed to you this week. So. Yes, you did, and thank you very much. And thanks to everybody who came out to my apparently seven-hour-long editing stream the other day. Um, yeah. Incredibly productive day, I have to say. I, I right had five videos in the can by the end of it. Um, so uh, I may do that again because it makes me be productive because I know everybody's watching. Give him that pressure. <laughs> it's certainly interesting to, to watch you edit now since I... I switched to Premiere, and then I remember uh, how I was like, "Oh, this is how Vegas works." I remember oh. that. <laughs> it's a little different, yeah. yeah. The uh, 
Yeah, for anyone who missed it, it's in the Twitch uh, videos. I'll probably put it up as a like permanent highlight thing at some point. <clears throat> so yeah, I yeah. will uh, likely do more of those because uh, it was very productive. I did actually have to end up going back and re-rendering two of them because I noticed some mistakes, a couple of things I forgot to crop and stuff but yeah such is life they're not going live until like september anyway so i'll be fine oh we got a, a sneak peek into some of those videos eh? yes i was editing uh retro videos pretty that, funny ones too that will be published between now and well published between i think <laughs> april and september so there's a lot of stuff there um, that you won't see on God, YouTube in Any time you get a chance to see Young Cass, it's just <laughs> fucking gold. <Yeah>. The when he was at the cable office, we were playing with the video toaster. Yeah, that well, was fun. I just I find it I find it really interesting how well the old footage translated into sixty frames per second. Like you wouldn't yeah. think that way the case, but oh, I know that. Like I'm. That algorithm I've got is like freaking magic, man. It's like it's just amazing how well that works. Apparently, we died on Twitch. Did we? Yes, we did. Yeah, oh. we're. It's a picture of the spooky Wait. jump scare funhouse shit. Oh. That's interesting. Wait, I Let see. Me, this uh... is the broadcast you were watching has ended. What did you do? <laughs> it says. Uh... It says I'm still streaming. What the hell? Let me uh, refresh here. Yeah, you're streaming again. It just cut out for a second. I yeah, it was, that was on the Twitch end, I think. Tonight. It was fine here. Me and Twitchy. That's oh, cool. oh, what everybody. did Twitch do? <laughs> what does the Twitch say? I don't know. It says we interrupt you for a fucking bullshit ad. Awesome. That's why you need Twitch Prime or Twitch Turbo. I know, huh? Twitchy Twitch Twitch Twitch. Money, money, money. <laughs> Can't be off awesome yeah. with that. Here is my broadcast to bring you I, a special message. Actually, Twitch, honestly, Twitch Prime is probably your best value because if you've already got Amazon Prime, you might as well link it up with your Twitch because you get all the benefits that way. Yeah, you don't have really? to pay any extra. You do. Yeah, you don't have to pay any extra for it. Right? I might have to no. do that then. Yeah, if you've already got Prime, just link your Twitch account to it. Done, and then uh, you can enjoy <laughs> the experience and get all kinds of free goodies. Yeah. Muchas gracias for that info. Yeah. There you go. And cool. Yeah. Well, the way and the way Amazon does their their sites, they're gonna end up integrating the the logins anyway at some point. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just link it now because they're gonna end up saying you got to merge them at some point. They will. Yeah, and hopefully when they do, hopefully when they do that, I can get my freaking ass back. They're gonna do a redesign of the site, and that includes merging the account, just like they did with Audible. Nice. Uh, we're gonna see. I didn't know Z had editing vids until I got a notification on my Twitch about a comment. Oh, yeah, I just kind of went up spontaneously the other day. Um, I was home for the day and decided to be productive, so uh, I came home early because Rose wasn't feeling well. So I was like, well, Rose is chilling and relaxing, and I should probably try to get some things done while I'm home, so I decided to work on some more retro videos. Chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cooling. That's right. <laughs> chilling. Chilling. <laughs> all outside of the school. <laughs> should have sang it like Neil Young. It's a retro Call the trouble in my neighborhood. So that is something that I will do One again. little fight, and Mom got scared. At some point. Move it with your auntie and I'll go in Bel Air. Bow, <laughs> bow. <laughs> Sorry. I, I do still own my Laserdisc player, uh, ITV One HD. However, it is still dead. <laughs> I still need to repair. I'm pretty sure it's just a blown fuse. I just haven't got around to repairing it yet. Um, you can always just ask God. Most of the significant stuff that I have on Laserdisc, <laughs> I've since upgraded to Blu-ray anyway, so I'm not like in a big hurry. So, yeah, one of these days. Or I'll just get another player if I can find a good deal on one. Find it in the thrift store randomly. You're like, holy shit, buying it. Yeah, exactly. It's usually the best place to find that shit. <laughs> That's where mine was from. I just yeah. found the, the thrift store. I was like, 
I'd love 20 to bucks? go to a so, fucking thrift store and find the lazy disc randomly. Mine don't have yeah. it. Buying a lazy disc this player for 20 bucks and not knowing if it works is totally a, a good gamble. Yep. Yeah. That's a great gamble. Oh, no, yeah, completely. Because it probably just works and no one would want it. Price. Yeah, exactly. So this is all the well, that, day to get rid of it. <laughs> that still remains the only format that I never got to own, so yeah. maybe someday. Oh, it was great. That was the Blu-ray of its day. Not high definition, yeah. but as good as standard definition can be. So The one thing about it that I yeah. still feel like I, this is one reason I want to start collecting it is just the way you can do the tracking and everything. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, like the uh, fast scan uh, and stuff. You press, yeah, the scanning. If you oh, press like yeah. a... Hold on, Cass. Fast forward, you do it by oh, God, everyone's step showing by up. Step by step. Oh, right. oh, my gosh. Hey. It's not going to be as good as the smooth kind of thing. Cast, oh, no. Jamie, Jamie, cast. Especially, especially with the, hey, nice you finally. the uh the ones that let you do the step frame. <laughs> those are scan like just blazing <laughs> accurately and fast. And oh, it's, sorry. And it's amazing. Oh. You just go like whizz, whiz through oh. some frames, and you have the jog shuttle dial, so you can actually control how fast it scans either way too, which is great. Um, it's pretty awesome. I made an epic dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah. Please tell. Homemade beef stew. God oh. damn. Hey, that looks like the beef stew I make, like with uh, beef, carrots, and uh, mini, mini potatoes. You need to send say, that yeah, shit that's ASAP. That's exactly what I make. <laughs> um, I do it in hey. the slow Did you do it in the slow cooker or no? Uh, pressure cooker, actually. Oh, okay. I uh, got uh, one of those instant pots for Christmas. Oh, okay. And so it, uh, this was, this cooked for 35 minutes and it's perfect. Nice. Yeah. It'd be so a shame that. if you didn't share any with your yeah, brother. I do that exact <laughs> same thing in my slow cooker. Um, and I also throw in a can of, uh, cream of mushroom soup just to, uh, mm. get a little extra substance to it. And usually a can of, uh, broth, like beef broth. That's actually what I did was I did beef broth and a little bit of tomato sauce as well. Oh, well, there you go. So it's, more or less the same thing. It's good stuff. The problem was, I think the recipe I was following, yeah, the the recipe I was following was for a larger cooker than I have. I have the mini ah, version. Gotcha. So, like, I dumped everything in, and I'm like, and that's over the fill line. Okay, so I just scooped some of the potatoes out. Yeah. So, I think it ended up a little runnier as a result because the portions weren't quite right, but... Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'll fiddle with it next time. Yeah, ITV1 HD, uh saying when laser just started becoming widescreen yeah it was around the early early to mid 90s i think was when uh laser just really started to kick in with the widescreen that was another reason i i invested in it at the time was because it was the only format that most of the time would present movies in their correct aspect ratio uh whereas vhs was always full screen and rarely widescreen uh plus the added quality of course but um, that fucking four by three Four by three. And then, yeah. And then people still didn't understand the benefits of widescreen. It's like, why are they chopping off the top and bottom? It's like, ugh. They're not. What they're doing is not chopping off the sides, you idiots. Idiots! Idiots! There are people who still make that argument. Oh, I know. Still. <laughs> Oh my screen! Tech Why isn't Pepsi. it filling my screen? Oh hey, Tech Pepsi! Oh hey, yeah, you know, our, time, buddy. our mother would uh, use that argument. It's like, well, I paid good money for my television. I wanted to fill my screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, I would explain to her that you realize you're losing like half the image with those Star Wars full screen VHS. Those same people now watch. use this. Those are the same fucking people who used to stretch option of fucking TVs. Oh my god. Oh, god. Goddamn dinosaurs. And everything, everybody looks like they just gained 50 pounds. Yeah. Like, yep. uh. It's like the scene in Men in Black where he pulls his skin back and goes, <laughs> 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 Exactly. <laughs> well, what's even worse than that is like catching like a random episode of Everyone's like wearing an egg or Simpsons or. What's even worse than that though is catching like a <laughs> random episode of like. Simpsons or Family Guy on TBS that they are that they do that. Themselves. I know them, and yeah. they don't give you a choice. Yeah. 
I hate that. Highly stuff. edited. Has to fill the screen. Uh, then no. you have bullshit like this where it's up on a fucking flipper disc because you gotta have both. That's right. That's a flipper disc. <laughs> it's uh, not a pickup. I remember one two years ago, uh, Sean, when he was staying with us, he was watching a movie and our sister had somebody over, something like that, and the guy came in and she's like introducing him to everybody. And he sees what Sean is watching and he's like, oh, this is widescreen. I hate when they like chop the tops and bottoms off. And Sean just turned around and lashed into this guy. <laughs> but I'm like, why he actually worked and everything? And, it, and yeah, apparently it was a sight to behold. <laughs> well, I wish I remembered this that. Is truly. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I was actually there or if I just heard it secondhand from other people. But this I, is, I, I, this I, is I remember the moment. This is madness. Yes. It's like just picturing Sean turning around in the chair. <laughs> actually. <laughs> just like going into this diet drive. A retro, and then retro cuts to another scene. Retro version of the AC. Spot <laughs> on. Just need that friggin' what is it, a seagull that just like cocks its head all the way back. Inhale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Retro version of the HD rants. That's right. <laughs> the white screen rants. <laughs> white screen rants. <laughs> There's uh Man, you should have recorded those. That was great. I would love to see like fifteen and uh, nineteen year old you, twenty five year old you complaining. That's what that's white screen remember? <laughs> like you know, camera. Like uh I'm sure there's classic. gotta be some stuff like that in the retro footage I just haven't found yet. Um, I'm gonna make it into one video. <laughs> I do talk it's probably going to be me at nine years old. Why is it chopping the top and the bottom off? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> it has been, Cass, it has been such a joy. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, kid. Why you talk about that stuff? Out boy? Sorry, say that again, Stad. Zach Steve. It has been such a joy watching all these old videos of, of you as a kid. Because it's uh -huh. just so brilliant how you ha how much you haven't changed over the years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cass, like, uh... even then you were a storyteller. Even then you couldn't help but to keep telling stories. And even then I hijacked and even... stories. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. No, it's a chronic I and was persistent to thing. Tell my story. <laughs> it's a symptom of a bigger issue. <laughs> well. I was thinking about that, and you know, Brandon, how you had your theory about her mom, how she just says or does certain things just to demand attention and nothing else? Yeah. Yeah, that's what she's doing. That's actually what she's doing. But yes, not a theory. Yeah. Apple not falling far from the tree there. <laughs> well, look, when one's raised by narcissists, they tend to have narcissistic qualities, including being narcissists. There you go. Gee. Guess who was, used to be one and still has issues with it? Oh, yeah. I can't help but if I'm the best. No, no, no. That's not <laughs> narcissism. That's not. That's, okay, Trump. That's an exaggerated form of it that you see in media. That's right. Or from Trump, yeah. And it's a subconscious thing. It's a, it's a mental issue. Like, you do it because that's how you were raised and that's how you think people should act. I mean, you don't. I'm not saying you personally. I'm just saying you, the person who has got these issues. You it's and a you lot of these people, like myself included, go through life wondering why everyone's so. Uh, it's like everyone like has problems. Like why you have problems communicating with people? Because you're always talking about yourself. Yeah. Mm. You know, you don't stop and listen and actually communicate with people on what they're talking about. Talking about you've been raised this way. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Well, it's well, that's also partly the human condition. I mean, people naturally obviously want to talk about things they're interested in. It's different. It's a compulsion, I suppose. It's it's because that's the only way you know how to relate, because that's the only way you've been related to. It's different. Yeah. It's not a, that's not just the human need, right? There is a human need, right? I get that, but like this is even beyond that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, 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 didn't mean I contend with that a little bit as a kid, because obviously I like to talk about cars a lot. Yes. And Because you know, that was a huge interest of mine. And like over the years, I've kind of mm -hmm. tempered it. I mean, if I'm around people with similar interests, then yeah, I'll talk about it, but um, you know, if it's kind of like a, a car thing comes up, I'll talk about it, you know, then the conversation will move on. Like, that's fine. I'd like to quote, I'm not a medical professional. 
please, if you fi find any of this information striking or interesting to you, seek help from a professional. It does not mean you are weak. It means you are going to be stronger. It's okay. Not a doctor, yeah, but I've seen one on TV. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. It said you're lying. <laughs> I don't know much be loose about... I don't know much about be medical connect. science, but WebMD said I have cancer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I loved that in the, uh, in Google. Why Google are you pinging us again, bot? What the fuck? What? That was so brilliant in the, uh, if Google was a guy right at the end. The, uh, oh. Yeah, I've got this, like, strange rash of cancer. I decided to tell us everyone again, tell, uh, the bot in Discord decided to tell everyone again that you were live. Again? Yeah. Oh, oh Tiggy! The first six times. Look at the wild Tiggy cat. Yeah. <laughs> Roachman says, I get all my medical advice from Dr. Giggles. <laughs> I love that movie. That's such a bad but awesome movie. It's wonderful. It's wonderfully <laughs> awful. I used you know, it's to funny. It the, advertisement for that, the advertisement for the movie scared me of my dentist. Because my dentist looked very similar to Drake, Mr. Drake. Wonderful. That's, that's yeah. horrifying. So I had to get a new dentist because I would just start crying whenever I hear him because the, the trailer and the advertisement in the back of my comics that scare me of him is so cool. <laughs> Did he also giggle like, uh, incessantly? All no, time. he, in fact, in <laughs> retrospect, I don't remember him sounding or looking that much like him, but as a kid, it was just enough that I was like, no, just enough I'm out of here. Connection, <laughs> that association. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I finally saw Dr. Giggles, I think, three, three or four years ago again, for the first time in, like, ever, I he think. He brought all those horrible... Traumatic yeah. memories back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Indeed. Tenfold. Enjoyed that film on a whole other level, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. I was buying it on Blu-ray. Yes. I was going to say something related to something we were talking about ten minutes ago, but I've forgotten what it was now. Oh well. I'm too busy starting. You're not even that, doing so. weird stuff. I could have worded that so much worse and realized. For that. shame. Like, I'm staring at my girlfriend's world. pussy. <laughs> Look. She's got a pussy on screen. Whoa. Why is it orange? <laughs> it's cute. It's it's orange. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. yeah. It's Tiggy. He's a tiger. Orange. It's awkward when it's voice is coming arm. from. Which one? <laughs> which pussy's on screen? <laughs> uh. Hmm. <laughs> I can't remember what it Little was. kitty. Oh, right, Cass. I was going to say, um, yeah, when I did my editing stream the other day, one of the things, well, a couple of things I was editing was the two videos where you came to visit me at the programming room at the cable office. Oh, we okay. With, we were playing with the video toaster. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Did you old coaster? Of, so, like, you didn't put any pressure on me at all with the effects. It's just like, do a good one, Sean. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just do another effect. It's like, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Do a and then, good and one. one. You just said, oh do the best you can do. <laughs> yes, because I'm just holding back all this whole time. <laughs> Even that, I knew my brother was a showman. He's saving the best for last. That's right. <laughs> give me the showstopper. <laughs> Yeah, just skip the, oh, yeah, skip to the best one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happened last week? Uh, Cloverfield Paradox got released on Sunday after the Super Bowl. Oh, that's right. That yeah, we got the, the new Cloverfield movie. That and you should see it. It's a fun sci-fi movie. Was announced and, and released in the same day. <laughs> what was that, Justin? And everyone was like, it's horrible. I hate it. Of course they It's did. not, by the way. They just had these expectations of it being something it wasn't. So yeah, and to be fair, the trailer was a little misleading about what it was, little, but only a little. It was pretty damn misleading. <laughs> no, when you look back at it, you're like, oh, I see what's going on here. It's just not about not knowing what's going to happen and you making assumptions based on what you see. You Once again, assumptions are ass out of you. Oh, there was me. a Venom trailer. There's a Venom trailer also. Which oh was yeah, there was a Venom remarkable. trailer teaser that everyone said meh. It was unremarkable. <laughs> Well, it's Venom nice. is a man character this. to begin with. Oh, well, that's so. just your opinion. Well, no, 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 no. I love no, Venom, no, no, no. but they didn't show anything no. but the fucking human element in that trailer, and I'm kind of pissed off at that. 
Well, hang on. We saw a container with some alien gloop in it. Ooh! <laughs> that got me a semi. <laughs> I, got, I got a little chub. I'm not gonna lie. Right, I'm right, just chub. trying to interject something here about Venom sucking. Well, I was just, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I didn't think know, it sucked. I just thought it was unremarkable. Let Raz talk. Sorry, Raz. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to say that. Uh, Go, Raz. They, I was just trying to say that. <laughs> They shot themselves in the foot anyway by trying to do this because after they put the real Spider-Man in the MCU, then anything Sony does is going to be extra horrible by comparison anyway. That's right, yeah. Uh, I don't think well, Tom Hardy's going to be in the Marvel Universe anytime soon. No. Well, that's that's what I mean. But I think Tom yeah. Hardy... Have... Tom Hardy himself is great. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I like. I, 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 the movie's gonna be good because Tom Hardy is amazing. So absolutely, but like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I just, he doesn't have to ask anything. It just seems like Sony just Sorry. doesn't know what the fuck they're doing right now. It's like, okay, we made this deal. With they legitimately don't MCU, and then now, now we've still do, got. Do we forget who's helping to run Sony? We can still do. Oh yeah, it's fucking <gasps> Tom Rothman, isn't it? Oh, it's Tom Rothman. We got him out. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Oh, but he's a geek. He's a geek. He he said so himself. He's a geek. Fuck Tom Rothman. He's, he's a, a bad geek. That goes and pays to see Transformers six fucking times. And yeah. That's why we have five of them. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Don't shame anybody about that. But I'm just saying Tom Rothman's terrible. Yes. <laughs> he's the David... Pe is it David Peters who did... Look at... Who, who's the guy who did the giant spider? Is that David Peters? John Peters. John Peters. John, he's a John Peters of the modern era. Yeah. Um... Piss all over comic book love. Well, here's the thing. Look how much better Fox's superhero movies were the second he left. I know! <laughs> so good! Like, so immediately. Good. <laughs> we got Deadpool like, the and moment. Logan. Enough said. <laughs> the two movies yeah, he kept and trying two good to block. X-Men movies? We got two good X-Men movies also, don't and forget. Two good X-Men Before movies. Tom Rothman left? After yeah. Tom Rothman left. Yes. <laughs> yep. I don't think it needs to be one of those. <laughs> Tom Rothman's not here. 20 minutes later. <laughs> still, still the best. Yeah. Still the best one. Oh, that one's so good. No, well, yeah. no, I still think the Rogue Cut's the best one. And Rogue Cut's then, pretty awesome. But, first class all the way. Yeah. I so, still wish I could see first class too, damn it. I still have to see uh, Apocalypse <laughs> and Logan. Logan is so good. I know. It's Logan was so here. good. I just watched Apocalypse the Apocalypse pretty okay. Version. I, I, Apocalypse got 6 out of 10. I didn't hate it. Yes, ITV1 HD. I own several Studio Ghibli anime. Not all of them, but I've got, I don't know, about 8 or so, eight, maybe 10. I don't know. Look through my... I like Studio Giblets. Basically, if you want to find out if I have something or if I've talked about it, just go to my YouTube channel and search my videos. Put in the title of the movie you're wondering about, and if there's anything at all about it, or if I've ever talked about it, it will show up in the search. Because I always tag all my videos with whatever movies I talk about. So you don't need to ask me. Just search the videos. It's all there. All of them are there. And, and it's I'm, not there. And I don't have it. I've never talked about it. And Sean is also fantastic about playlist organization as well. I try. I need to yeah. fiddle with them a little bit, I think. I'm not quite happy with them, but... But yeah, I try. <laughs> like all the retro, like actually, the Multimedia Chronicles retro is probably the most organized because it's. Uh, uh, it is. I, I like have, Di era and shit. The whole thing is is organized chronologically. So even though they're not yeah, necessarily always great. published chronologically, the playlist what is I meant, chronologically. Yeah. So it starts with the <laughs> the oldest stuff and goes through to the newest stuff. The newest retro stuff is like 2003, by the way. All of my pl I'm goes. terrible playlists, but I got the I I I. I gained the system because it, it, YouTube has like an auto add feature with certain keywords and titles. Yes. So I just make sure I, that's why I have like a little bar space and then like, you know, and I sometimes, I sometimes, uh, daily vlogs will have their own little thing so that you know, yeah. the playlist will pick it up. Same mm -hmm. with all the other like sub yeah. shows. So I don't have to do it. I'm late. I've started to make more use of that because, uh, I pre schedule so much stuff. It's just, so much easier to have a tag in there that the playlist will pick up and automatically add them. Uh, so like Doctor Who, uh, my Doctor Who list has had a tag for a long time or anything with Doctor Who and it goes onto that playlist automatically. 
Uh, yep, yep. Ordered by publication date. Um, Multimedia Chronicles Retro. Do you have a timey wimey? Do is um, no, I just have a, it's just a Doctor Who tag, but then right. um, you should make a separate timey wimey Tuesday one. Pick up just those episodes. Well, yeah, possibly. I don't know. I mean, most of it. Just saying. The the only sort of non-related stuff in there is occasionally if we talk about Doctor Who on SNI or something, I'll uh, it'll end up in there. But um, uh, but most for the most part, it's it's only the timey wimey Tuesday stuff anyway. But. Uh, what else? Multimedia so basically, Chronicles. every time I'm here. <laughs> Multimedia Chronicles, I started organizing by year. Previously, I was doing it by volume. So I kind of doing it by seasons now. Uh, so now, nice. for example, I have a tag which is MMC 2018. So that puts it in the Multimedia Chronicles 2018 list automatically because I found I, was, I kept forgetting to add stuff. Like last, ah. year it's, last year, it says I did 35 Multimedia Chronicles episodes. Now, I know did I didn't do that. a lot, but I'm pretty sure I did more than 35. <laughs> pretty sure you did, like, probably, you probably did something like 50 or 60 of them, I think. I'm sure. It wasn't, like, a, lot a of hugely them. productive year. It was a rough year last year for a variety of reasons. Yeah, for everybody. <laughs> this year's not yeah. shaping up any better for anybody, let me tell you. Yeah. This one's Fuck starting sakes. off better for me, at least in terms of productivity. I've got a lot of stuff done. And, yeah. I haven't done anything in, I think, two weeks now. <laughs> wow. So, before we get on too much in the... Stout as Cheez-Its. <laughs> that that was no there was no reason for you to stop and be like, oh, Stout has Cheez-Its. Of course, like, I hold the box. Up, there's there's a story mean. behind it, or something. I don't know. Let me just put Stout on the big screen there's there, no so there's we can all see his Cheez-Its. Cheez -Its. Hey, these Cheez-Its are making me thirsty. The big I miss Cheez-Its. Cheez <laughs> they don't make That's right. good Vanna White those Cheez-Its Cheez for us. <laughs> That I have found yet. So anyway, I have something to share before we get on too far in the evening. Okay. Uh, I was going to share this last week, but I'm kind of glad I did because we have a bigger audience here. Yeah. So narcissist. Yes, exactly. I too am glad. You narcissist. Right. Wait. Okay. <laughs> so my one of my roommates at my old house I just left. Uh, she bought a new watch right before we left, and it was so some knockoff Chinese company. Love it. And God damn it, Sean. What is he doing next? <laughs> oh, wait. So, she bought <laughs> some bowel cleanser and. <laughs> Sorry, she bought a new table. Is a new table? <laughs> Couch cushion. The Chinese bowel cleanser. I totally missed what she bought. So your new roommate bought something. My old roommate. Oh, your old. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. And it was some type of home <laughs> furnishing. She bought a watch. My friend. A watch. <laughs> a watch. <laughs> mop? I didn't hear you. Everybody started laughing over you, and I didn't hear you. Oh, yeah, blame us. Yep, it's all their fault. Mr. <laughs> Dr. Clark over here. She bought a watch. Oh, a, a watch. thing that tells time. Yes. Cool. Okay. And it's from a knockoff Chinese company, and so it came with instructions that were oh. translated into English. Oh, oh my no. God. Okay. Oh, no. So I have here... <laughs> English! You frequently asked questions section of the instruction manual. Oh my god. Oh yes. And so I will read these to you now. Okay. <laughs> so there's six questions in total. So question number one, warranty or not? <laughs> That's like literally the question. Is that the whole question? It's a good question. Yeah. Warranty or warranty, not? Warranty or not? <laughs> All watches sold from Brigada will comply with the warranty service as the exact guarantee year offered with products. Further details, please refer to official website after sales service column. Number two, what are the free guarantee items? When using the watches in normal circumstances, some, some quality problems as ticking stopped by movement defect, but excluding the following items. That's a ticking a, stopped? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Some, some quality problems. Defect. 
<laughs> yes, some quality problems as ticking stop by movement defect, but excluding the following items. A. Man-made damage. Glass broken, bump in using, not to stop. B. Scratches on face... B. Scratches on face, case, and band damage in normal use. John claude band damage. <laughs> C. Appearance defect. Case, dial, hands, glass, band, crown. Those need to be checked carefully on goods receipt. Refuse to receive at the first time. Beyond this time, no return accepted. <laughs> what? What did that even say? <laughs> Can't be beyond I don't know what that even time says. The first time. <laughs> what does it mean, me? I don't even know. D Where do I begin with this? D. <laughs> D. Operation defect if not according to the manual. Wearing a non waterproof watch when taking shower. Even get water soaked in when swimming. Even when swimming. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I personally, I like dry swimming. Yes. In when swimming. In, in, I ain't want walking. swimming. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I ain't, it's, I ain't uh, gone swimming sometimes. Uh, it's water soaked in when swimming. In when yeah, I ain't gone yeah. swimming sometimes. You know. Yeah, or E, over the expire period. No, that was pretty lame. Three, slip seconds on quartz watches. What? <laughs> How does one do that? Apparently, what? time travel is possible with this watch. Wow. What the fuck? Amazing. Time crystals, huh? <laughs> sure, this ain't one of those watch from Clock Stoppers. Oh, right? Oh, man, I haven't had like fucking 15 years. Shit. So, slip seconds on quartz watches. If a quartz second watch hand ticks one step every several seconds or stop working, that, now oh, the battery. What? Then what? <laughs> now the battery is running out. Consumers need to change a new battery. Avoid long time stay of dead battery, which will lead to movement defect. <laughs> so change the new battery and. <laughs> <laughs> but what? I want to know about the if. You can't have an if without a then. <laughs> um, well, okay. Number four. No figures showing on digital watch screen. If not caused by waterproof and crush problems, the screen figures <laughs> suddenly disappear. The reason is possibly on the battery power. If new battery changed, it will work back to normal. Jesus Christ. I want it to no. work back <laughs> to normal. I can't even English right. <laughs> yeah, for real. All your base are belong to us. So, That's all I can so think all about. This, so let's talk about the issues of the battery. Number five, could the consumer change the battery by themselves? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, here, here is how they say no. Oh God. The precision, the precision and waterproof are very essential for a watch life existence. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that again. I say that again. Watch Sorry. Watch life existence. <laughs> Okay, so the precision and waterproof are very essential for a watch life existence. It is not easy. It is not easy for watch life existence. It is not easy for unprofessional operators to process. We do not advise a direct battery change by consumers. Unprofessional. Aww, so look you, at you Ritzy. You're, all, you're all unprofessional. You see Aww, some guy with his shirt untucked and the rumpled and... <laughs> hey, I'm here to change your watch and... battery. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not professional enough. <laughs> What are you talking about? Of course I'm a professional. <laughs> uh. um. Okay. And finally, number six. A 100% stainless steel band will be rusted and color fading? <laughs> yes. <laughs> stainless steel material, including many categories... Main composition as nickel, chromium, those will be easily in erosion by strong acid and acolyte poisoning. 
What? Or the sweat from or the sweat from human body, also including hydrochloric acid accumulated. <laughs> yes, I told what? you to sweat hydrochloric if, acid. <laughs> or planet did this great. manual come from? Or, no, I, I read it wrong. Or the, or the sweat from human body, also China. including hydrochloric acid. Oh. That's the planet. The planet. Did you just watch for a freaking xenomorph or something? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> so, acid Good accumulated. Lord. If not clear... It's not like sci-fi tech. If not clear properly, some position as the band will be rusted. <laughs> also, black, also, black stains will show on your wrist. Oh. Well, from, from all that's the acid it's... burns, apparently. The stains will appear on your wrist because, you know, it's fake shit that's made out of like also, gold and silver. Or all because of nickel and some elements contact with body sweat, vinegar, mm -hmm. bleacher, or some other chemical, chemical reagent, cosmetics, and so on. I guarantee the, you that botch is going to leave stains on a person's wrists. The ordinary okay. way to the ordinary way to delow with is to <laughs> brush the band with cleaning agent, then wipe with soft cloth, or going to the professional watch repairing shop for cleaning with ultrasonic instruments. It's ultrasonic it's, cleaning. It's your duty as a friend to check in on that watch in a few months and see if they stain their wrist and if they've thrown it away yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you were man, this watch has more maintenance than a fucking child. I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff of a Bugatti watch. Yeah, but, I think that's what it is. But well, yeah. what's the name of the company? Oh, Bugatti. Bugatta, so, yeah. Bugatta, yeah. Bugatta. <laughs> Perfect. Bugatti. I figured it was maybe like trying to be close to Belova or something. Fuck you, Bugatta. Thanks, bro. But yeah, so my, my roommate was like, so what, I'm going to phone around place in Victoria. Excuse me, are you a professional watch repairing shop? <laughs> Can you clean my watch for me? We, we repair technology? well. I've been, I've been sweating all this vinegar and acid, and I'm afraid I might, <laughs> I, I, might, I, might, I might cause a movement defect. That's right. <laughs> I repair watch. I repair watch. Very good. Very good I repair watch with hammer. I, I used to fix cell phones. And we did have like a ultrasonic cleaner, and it was literally just a you'd put the circuit board in a solution and it vibrated. Um, it was it was to knock loose like if the water Ooh. came into the phone and corroded something, it would knock the corrosion off. Um, Find that company anywhere. But I'm pretty sure if you were to take that watch and put it in that solution and vibrate it, it would just like vibrate apart. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, just put the put the watch in and just and just just completely just disintegrate into nothing. Or <laughs> the uh, looks like we experienced a movement defect. <laughs> there, there is no more watch life existence. <laughs> that needs to be a shot on a shirt. There is no more watch life existence. <laughs> Good news is we don't have an issue with your watch anymore. Bad news is it's not a fucking watch. You don't anymore. have a watch. <laughs> you don't have a watch. <laughs> you have at, at at best a plastic wristband. It's like the I guess idea of somebody trying to replace the He just the sadly battery. hands the components uh, back like this. So I... and the watch just disappears. We've got a new <laughs> We've got a new ending for S and I. Thanks. This is now <coughs> stream life. A, uh, end of stream life existence. And then it's like end. end it. of stream That's life. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love it. I'll take ten. <laughs> we'll be here all week. That's right. Try in the veal. Tip your waitress. We hope you've had a good stream life existence. Tip your waitress because you're a cheap bastard if you don't. Nobody wants to be a cheap bastard, trust me. If you really love him, buy him a drink. Oh my god, Farspace got an update. Perfect. Really? <laughs> you guys remember that one? That was the VR game I played, not in VR. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. You're... I want Manic Sean Prime, to go into Manic VR Prime chat, says, actually. You Manic guys Prime are says, a real bunch. This stream cannot be started because it already does not exist. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 right. There you go. That's hey, funny. Sean. Huh? Have you tried VR chat yet? I don't have VR. Oh, you don't need it. Oh, 
Okay. And you can go hang out with the Ugandan Knuckles. I was gonna say, show you the way. The you Ugandan do Knuckles way. Island free. is. <laughs> you do not know the way. Because I'll do it if it's free. It is free. <laughs> it is free. Oh. Nice. Oh my God. It's also, the cancer. See, of you really world think there's a on. bunch of people from Uganda with fucking goggles? They're on their computer. You know what's great? Oh, belt. I'm installing this shit right now. You all can join in non-VR mode, and I can join you guys in VR mode. We should listen, do listen. that. That ah. that's what we should do after that this. Would be hold, fun. hold on, hold on. That that's fun. what we should do. It's we should do VR really chat. Important. You guys understand that this is literally the cancer of the internet. <laughs> it's not the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> that's so the cancer of the, the internet. Let me stop amongst right all there. the dumb no, political no, shit no, you come all across. All, all right, Clear, clearly, Stoud, Stoud, you do not know the way. Stout up. Yeah. Oh. Stout, do you, you want to know the way? <laughs> now you know the way. No. My Stout queen, my queen. Way. You have Ebola. Spit on him. You know the way. <laughs> I think you know the way, Mr. Honey Addicted Man. He does not know the way. I will, I will. The reason I say that what the fuck did I start? Out of, I out of all the memes that control, have been no. created in the last, like, I would say at least five or so <laughs> years, this is the one meme that doesn't annoy the ever-living fuck out of me. Because yeah, I think it's right? It's hilarious. It's ridiculous and silly and good. Like, for real. Just, yeah, it's fun. The other chat's almost done downloading. I've seen a few videos. <laughs> I'm just trying I mean, don't. What? What? I have seen people Justin. stream this. Start over. Start over. Take two. Stream it. What? <laughs> I think he's telling us we should stream it. I'm streaming Wait, you, this. Start right all now. over. I can't stream all of the things all at once. Don't stream what? You can't stream Make it happen. Is that what I you're saying? I don't know what's going on. You can, but you probably won't be able to for long. Oh, because some <laughs> asshole will come in? Yeah, because people will come in there with freaking nude avatars and suddenly you're oh. banned. <laughs> oh, so you yeah. don't stream it, but we can record I'm it. Naked oh. Rick. I'm you naked can record Rick. it and then you can just cut around it. <laughs> okay. So we can do we can do like a like a we can rec all can record it, but we can't stream it. Okay. So we can, still so we can record it. Channel, by the way, chop and out then the nude. Edit it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, I am in VR chat. I am still hunting for a pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Oh <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> I've found. Is it a real thing you can get in that game? <laughs> oh yeah. Or are you talking about like someone running in saying pickle Rick? No, no, no. You yelling. can actually. There are many, many things in that game you can get. <laughs> oh neat. Okay. I don't pickle know. I haven't played. Yeah, they so harassed old. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Calling him a honey addicted man. The honey addicted man. Fucking oh. hilarious. Oh yeah, that's the. He, it's a Ugandan knuckle standing on like a table, and he yeah. goes, "He goes, do you know the way, Mister Honey Addicted Man?" I think you know the way, Mister Honey Addicted Man. I think I've seen that <laughs> one. Okay. That one made me laugh. Okay. Then all the different variations, like the samurai one, the Russian one, and the little I tank. <laughs> 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 I mean, I saw one that would just walk around in a samurai armor and and do some poku. Just I don't know. Seppuku. Pickups. What are we doing? Seppuku. Yeah, pickups. Seppuku. I've heard some poku. Seppuku. Sen poku. No, it's S E P P. Anyway, for people who don't know, it's a Japanese form of honorable suicide. Cool. I was just saying. Speaking of. I was just saying, speaking of Pickle Rick, I wonder when we're getting the season three Blu-ray. That's kind of what I'm saying. It's never going to happen. I don't know. I but, hope so, because uh, I want Speaking it. of Pickle, pickle Rips, we should do pickups. Pickle Rips? That was, that was a lame <laughs> transition. Oh, oh, Sam, yeah. Morty. Hey, hey, be I did better than you would <laughs> Oh, my God. Ow. <laughs> Hey, so Ow. he's putting out more Peyton Place on DVD. Awesome. My ass. I can check that out. I love the movie. Yep. What was that? <laughs> that come from the front end or the back end? Huh? <coughs> 
Pickups, 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 pickups. I have numero uno. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four. I forgot the number. Nine, I think. I've got nine. I've got three. I just realized they're all on the screen. I so have nine. <laughs> all on screen. I have six. Well, you said you have six. Lonely old man. Six. Six. <laughs> mm. uh, I get it. I got yes, the sex. Sex. Ah. Way to go, Raz. Congrats, bro. I. Yeah, bro. I'm getting some of that soon. Totally, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Bro. So, pickups, Sean? Bro. Sorry. Oh, yeah. What are you okay. waiting for? I don't know. I got into the bro zone and just zoned into the bro. He's reading something. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. So, I was looking at TV You do love me. The final season of Different Strokes is finally coming out on DVD. Oh, that's cool. About yeah. time. It's been like five years since the last one. It's been a long time. The Shout Factory picked it up and has been putting out the last few. But uh, there was a long <laughs> delay between like season four and the rest of them or yeah, something it was, like that. It's like at least at least five years. It's more than that, yeah, I think. I think it was actually more than that, like closer to a decade. But um, Jesus Christ. it's taking a long time. I, I, yeah. I think this is a perfect example of what VR it's, chat is. So. It's kind of weird. I've realized I've been this is my eighteenth anniversary of collecting movies this year. So Yeah. Anyway. So you have the the mole guy from Animal Crossing. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> then next to Pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gigantic and Diva. pickle rig. From oh, oh, hey, Diva. Cool. Yeah, you could be Diva, Tracer. Uh, I believe there's a Roadhog in there running around somewhere. Sweet. Jakey Boo from Avatar. I mean, oh, violence is usually the answer. It's, it's one of those games where people just, you can upload a 3D model and you can be that model in the game. Yes. Ooh, I that, that might be fun. Cause... So I gotta guys... figure out how to do that. I'm gonna be a tentacle monster. <laughs> uh, you can probably just find that in the game. <laughs> it has been around long enough that there are some Contrary really, to really messed what he up. believes, Skinslip did not invent tentacle porn. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is me. Uh, so pickups. Let's start at the end of the line here. Uh, is that, oh, wait a minute. Is there somebody farther at the end of the line? Who is that? Who's right at the end? Oh, we have me. nine people here, dude. It says you. I couldn't read it because it was so small. I know. There's so many people in the room. I know, man. <laughs> right? Okay, Zach. What you got? Surprisingly, surprisingly, <laughs> in the five dollar bin, oh, the oh. emperor's new groove. Hey. Oh, nice. Oh, Brand new DVD. factory sealed. It's a DVD. It doesn't count. Still, I, like I know. Five dollars for a $5. Disney movie. I, Disney I movie. knew. You know. I enjoyed that one for three bucks at I Family did. Video. Fences. No. I, no, I heard nothing about that movie. Nice. I've never even heard of it. It's, it's a good movie. That cat. The, the yeah, cast. The, title, the cast about the title has sold me. So. <laughs> also from Family Video because I didn't want to pay full price for it. And I have a story about full price. Uh, it. Hey. And now you can't love video. that fucking movie. What was that? Family Video now has a thing. I've watched that movie about eight times now. It's so nice. good, wasn't it? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Really impressed. Yep. So now the funny thing about Family Video is now they have started to stock brand new. <laughs> Uh, copies of movies at great low prices. So they had it with the slip cover. Oh wow! With a big white sticker at the amazing price of twenty eight ninety nine. Yeah. Wow. No. So I went to I went to the riddle shelf where they usually have movies on sale after about a month. I yeah. paid thirteen bucks for this without the slip cover. Yeah. Right on, dude. That twenty eight ninety nine American, ladies and gentlemen. I paid like I think twenty. Yeah. Two bucks Canadian. It, it was like eighteen dollars here. I paid nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, twenty bucks at Walmart. Twenty five right? at Walmart. Yeah. Like and I just picked up uh, Wizards for six bucks. Oh, Wizards! I got a digit book for that. Classic. Yeah, I got the digit book of that too. But yeah, it's good. I love that movie. That's yeah, a great movie. And Brazil. Brazil. I want the Criterion of that. I very much do. I have the Criterion of it. I finally bought it like a while back. 
<coughs> yeah, I remember when you bought Critter it. Of it. I was like, yes, did you, finally. Did you watch it? I still haven't watched it. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna fucking fall in love with that movie. You oh, need to prioritize that. It's like, actually it's in my totalitarian dystopia week pile. You don't so, even understand. The movie is so fucking good. It's gonna I yeah. it's gonna be one of your favorites of all time. Oh, I sure. fucking know this. Which one? Uh, Brazil. Brazil. He's gonna awesome. fucking oh, love yeah, that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna have such a hard on for that movie. He's gonna watch it over and over again. Watch. The thing with the Criterion is it has both cuts, like the studio mandated, the ending version, and Uh, the original Terry Gilliam cut. Yeah, watch it. Well, I was, yeah. A massive documentary all about why the two versions exist. (laughs) Definitely watch the Gilliam first, but. Oh, absolutely, yeah. To be fair, the studio cut actually has its merits, so I'm glad it has a Blu ray, you know? Nah, you like it. That was all he had. Yeah. That, okay. You know, it. I do have to say, I'm not, it's not gonna spoil anything, but watching Robert De Niro in a Terry Gilliam film kind of threw my ass off. <laughs> uh, Rad, yeah. do you have anything? But he did good in that one. I do. My my cousin gifted me a bunch of comics this week, so. Nice. Oh. I got. I can uh, contribute. The, the two uh, Batman classic homnibuses, is the same two that Sean has. I can't Oh, the, the Golden the Age. Yeah, head. nice. Yeah, the Golden oh, Age. Oh, right. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I can't wait, wait to read those because that's like, mm. I mean, everybody knows Batman's like my drug. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's your jam. I can't wait to read Oh, you and I will yeah. be friends. Yeah, yeah I can't wait to read those. More of that, um, the paperbacks should be coming out soon. Okay. So, so I kind of want to show you what I got. We'll get to you, um, Jesus. Awesome. <laughs> okay, well, I got three more. So then right. I got uh, uh, the Green Lantern uh, core from the DC, the, the new DC Rebirth. Oh, yeah. right. Right on. Nice. Good stuff. Um. And then I got from Marvel. I got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the one that's loosely based on the first movie. Oh, okay. And and then I got uh, this is the best for last to get the reaction from Sean. I got Summer and Mr. Poopy Butthole. Oh what? yeah, the, the oh, right. yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Little poopy superstar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. As on an order. So. Yeah. I actually, funny enough, I just finished reading. Uh, they just came out with volume six of the regular comics uh, recently, of uh, Rick and Morty, and I just finished reading that the other night. That's one of those comics where, uh, as soon as the new trade paperback <clears throat> comes out, I buy it immediately, and whatever else I'm reading at the time goes on hold. While I read the new Rick and Morty book, <laughs> I watched I just, two more episodes this week. Uh, this, the, those comics are so damn good. Like it is easily one of the best like TV to comic adaptations ever. Like it really captures the show perfectly. Oh shit! <clears throat> oh, and then I, I ended up getting this for a gift for someone. I also gave, I also gave a hundred dollars to my friend. Oh, nice. It is actually one through six in a paperback. I actually get that because I missed issue five. <laughs> Very cool. Um, nice. I have on Target, at least for me, on sale for 13 bucks. Nice. Holy shit. So check one. it out. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Uh, the Big Trouble and Escape from New York comics that they did, like the individual ones they did, were really good too. Definitely worth checking out. I enjoyed them both. And the way Lo Pan looks on this cover is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. There that you is go. Not, that's beautiful. Love it. Pretty badass. <laughs> Artwork's really good on the cover. Oh, yeah. The covers are great for those. <laughs> absolutely. For, uh, Big Trouble in particular, they had quite a, a variety of uh, alternate covers. Like A lot of different artists wanted in on that. Uh, and even the interior at that, quite a few different artists. <laughs> and the first 12 issues were co-written by John Carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, Mr. Stoudman, 
I see a stack of yeah. stuff there. Is that your stack of stuff that you're going to show us in your stack of stuff? Some of it, yeah. Okay. Emperor's, Emperor's new Kronk. I got, <laughs> I but I got the, the uh, Blu-ray with uh, nice. Kronk's new groove as well. The appropriate I, amount of money spent. I, I would assume. like to get that, actually. <laughs> it was only Both $10. Of, wow. Both of those are good, by the way. That's a good sequel. I have not seen the sequel. Um, I think Rosie has. I haven't seen it. not that. as good as the first movie, but it is very entertaining, so I you will not version. hate it. Ooh. Nice. Misery. Misery. Delayed on that because I have the regular Blu-ray from a few years ago. This was on sale for like 12 something, so I'm snagged. Nice. It's a good price for I'm black poor. I bought other I got this one with a, with a $5 off coupon. I got this one off of eBay from nice. Blow It Out of Here. Nice. Yay, Blow It Out of Here. See, they're awesome. It's a show favorite of ours. It sells a lot of movies to us. <laughs> cool. I buy them from them all the time. Yeah, so do I. I got a good deal my Doctor Who DVDs from them. You got your Doctor Who Blu-ray from them, too. Oh, is that where you got it from? <laughs> yep. Nice. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> um, it just, uh, in my reselling thing that I've been doing, I went to Goodwill and I got <clears throat> one puzzle thing. Pokemon. To sell on I eBay. Nice. It's a Master Ball, and it, and it has Master a puzzle ball. inside of it. It's a mystery cool. puzzle, right? You don't know what it is until you open it? Uh, not, not correct? I got the picture on the back. Oh, is it? Oh, I thought those were mystery ones. So, that, like, the idea is you, it's, like, collectible? Anyway, I don't, I don't know. Oh, so you don't know. I might, be saying, I might be thinking something else. I might be thinking, It's fine. And then I got this audio book that nobody really cares about, but it's worth 20 bucks, so I got it. Cool. Nice. <laughs> audio book is, uh... Shouldn't have said Pokemon. Like like audio copy books. audio books are kind of rare now, so, yeah. Got the Gladys Knight and the Pips featuring Ray Charles. Nice. This is a nice, Very nice. An appearance from like 1977. So nice. You should you should at least give that a watch. I bet it's entertaining. Absolutely. Brand new factory sealed. The frickin' Eagles. Right on. Farewell <laughs> tour. Awesome. If that weren't sealed, I would say you should probably watch Eagles, that too. Man. <laughs> I watch a free concert DVD. You know, the, the best find today was a Universal Vault Series DVD. Oh, wow. <laughs> Leaving yeah. Normal. Leaving I've never normal. actually heard of the movie. Me either. don't know much about it, but I know it's worth money. The title vaguely <laughs> rings a bell. Okay, you weren't holding it still for long enough? Who was in that movie? On the top M- in the May front? Tilly and... Christine, Christine Laddie. And then... The executive producer was yeah. Sidney Pollack. So. Oh, okay. Oh. That's cool. I don't, never heard of it, but I was just I like, yeah. Cool. Her, her white strikes. <clears throat> Why it reminds you of something. I don't know. No, it's not reminding me of anything. I'm just curious who it was because you weren't holding it still enough. <laughs> what do you mean? It's funny. Uh... perfectly still. Yeah. What are you talking about? <clears throat> oh, that's way better than you were. <laughs> it's funny you wow, show the true. Eagles. Actually, because I was going to show this. If any of you are Blues fans, hold on. There we go. This oh, is actually all Blues covers by the Rolling Stones, and it's actually really fucking amazing. If you are into awesome. I checked that out. It's called Blue and Lonesome Rolling Stones. Nice. Definitely worth a fucking listen. Gotta right love on. some stones. Oh yeah, and I was gonna show this too because I finally fucking fetched it after so long. <laughs> nice. I jacked his pickups. That is a really nice. Flat the fuck up. That is he the doesn't know the My example video. As I don't know the way. <laughs> well, it's shit that I forgot about and wanted to show. Now I'm done. <laughs> it's funny. Are, are you like, sure? Oh yeah, I jacked the pickups. That's amazing. Back I was gonna commend you on that. Oh, and there was this other thing I what? forgot. In the middle of someone else's pickups. This is pickups. my press pass for Emerald City Comic Con. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Nice. Oh, that's better. Did you get lots of interviews? Did you get lots of pictures? Did you get lots of autographs? Did you get lots of stuff? Not here yet. I haven't. It, it hasn't. It's they in March. It. Oh. <laughs> it's in Did you March. get lots of interviews and photographs and autographs and stuff? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and videos. Lots of videos. Just keep your camera Yeah, I was going to say. Is it going to be on YouTube? Better be. Probably not. You don't know? Come on, man. Music by Kevin McLeod. 
Kevin Macklin. Kevin Macklin. Kevin Macklin. I love Kevin Macklin. I really started Justin? using a lot of his music because there's it's there's just a Kevin yeah, Macklin song free. for every occasion. Like there is. <laughs> I use I use his stuff all the time, man. He's ridiculously yeah. versatile as a musician. Like it just blows me away how many different styles he can do. But uh, is that everything, Justin? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jamie. Oh. I have nothing because I sent nothing. him stuff. She okay. sent the hot girlfriend sent me things. Yeah. Okay, I sent him girl... stuff, so all my money went to that. Okay, well, we will find out in uh, a couple of people here then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, garbage why, gamer. Oh, it's alphabetical. So, what do you got, I... Garage Gamber? Garage <laughs> Gamber. <laughs> got a. Uh... Little gem of a uh, PS4 game released by Blue Point Games. They've knocked it out of the park. Probably one of the best ones they've made so far. Blue Point. That is the ground up remake of Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. He was, nice. he was so, fighting me like, earlier. He's posted some videos of that on his channel. You guys should totally check it out. It looks amazing. Yeah, this is by far yes. one of the most beautiful games I have ever seen. It's always been a beautiful game. They somehow I mean, Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, like, it's yeah, it's a ground. It's been a groundbreaking game since 2005 when it was released back on the PlayStation. 2. It was it was hot yeah. shit then, and the rematch looks great too. And then that, you know, like oh yeah, yeah. So there's there's the you know there's the purists who play the PS2 version. There's the people that want to experience the old one and play the PS3 remake. And then remaster. there's the, I, oh remaster, yeah. But this is a remake. Yes. This is a ground up done 100% over again. Yeah, so it's not like they just but still spot on resolution a bit. <laughs> yeah, this is, you know. Well, that's the thing about the re- the, the the rematch is just high re- basically uh, the re- the equivalent of the new Final Fantasy 7 coming out. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you want to know up, what yeah. a ground up remake is like, yeah. What you can expect from Final Fantasy, play this. There you go. Yeah, right on. And, yeah, be ready for that. <laughs> we have run out of ideas. We're going to remake our best idea. That's basically what that meant. But... Right. And I do have to say, if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro, you yeah, this is a game to own for the Pro. Um, because it has, it actually says on the back of the box, it's designed with PS4 Pro enhanced features. Oh, nice. Um, and one of them is 1080p, 60 frames per second locked. Nice. So yeah, that that's a new experience playing this at sixty frames per second. Yeah, I bet. Nice. Seeing yeah. as seeing as the original on the back on the PS2 ran at fifteen. <laughs> Did it really? <laughs> yeah, it pushed the system yeah. so hard. The, the original PS2 version oh, ran at fifteen frames per second on average. Yeah. Uh, in the PS3 HD uh, remaster, it at thirty frames per second. Okay. Yeah. Which was yeah. much more playable. Yeah. But if well, you have I a pro, when that, when that came out, we were like, "Wow, this looks so much better." Oh, I know. We're like, "Oh my god, this is like the best it's ever gonna look." <laughs> yeah. and then they did that. <laughs> uh, but it was at the time. But yeah, um, the re- specifically the reason I mentioned Blue Point Games is Blue Point Games is pretty much they're the ones that did the PS3 remaster and most of those PS2 HD remakes. Hmm. It's been that company. So you look, go back and look at those. It's all blue point. That for whatever reason was not asked to do the Silent Hill HD collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> otherwise, it. Yeah, it kind of shows. They're the ones that did the Ico Shadow of the Colossus. They did the Devil May Cry, the Metal Gear Solid, the uh, Zone of the Enders. Uh, they did all of those. <laughs> and they yeah. Are all beautiful. <laughs> so do I. Yeah. So they know what the hell they're doing, and this is actually their first forte into doing a game from the ground up. Yeah. So yeah, they know what they're doing. So it's and it's just else? yeah, holy crap. <laughs> uh, no, this was my one big. I actually have something I just ordered today that'll be oh. here for next week. All right. So cool. well, we will look forward to that, whatever it is. Cass, you Peace. got any trash cans this week? <laughs> no, I do not have any pickups this week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brandon, what did your hot girlfriend send you? Oh, <laughs> hey, hey guys! The show's about me finally. Hi. Yeah, I know. So my week's been pretty good. No, okay. So um, <laughs> my hot girlfriend sent me stuff, show. but first I got the new cup figure from the uh, oh, from the nice. uh, 
what line is this one from? Hey, Titans Return. Okay, I'm a little out of date. It's last year's line, but whatever. Uh, it looks like Cup. I mean, it's so fucking good. I, I love this figure. I, nice. My goal for these is to buy like one of each of my favorite characters from the cartoon in the most accurate possible you know, official form and about the scale. I like the scale. So. Yeah. It doesn't need too much space up. Next, I got um, Magic Cards. I got this uh, pre-release uh, pack for... Um, uh, for uh, blah, blah, blah. Rivals X Ex Line, I keep mixing up with Explorers, which is a different thing. Uh, that's cool. And then uh, I bought for fourteen dollars the full series of Idiot Abroad with this horrible box. Nice. <laughs> that is a horrible I, box. But guess what? You want? You want? It gets better. You guys ready for this? Look at season one. That look at all that text and ugly shit you can't get rid of. Awesome. That's fine. British. Look at number oh, two. What the fuck's happening here? I don't know. He's in a block of ice, apparently. Oh. And, 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 and number three. Oh, look. Suddenly Warwick Davis. Yay. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Jamie here has never seen it, so we watched the first episode on YouTube, uh, and she loved it. And I'm like, all right, the, well, I love the show. So. Was that, the, that was the China episode, wasn't it? Yep. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. my God. I love that episode so much. It's so good. It's the so good. okay my... wall of China. <laughs> yes, I know. I was like, you fucking get You don't even get it. Well, so and then right as they're arriving, like, the but there's a big hole here. here. I mean, the they can just come over here and get in. <laughs> but I love how, like, as they're arriving on the bus, it's like the woman just leans over and closes his shutter. And he's like, all right, yeah, I guess I'll just see you when I get there. <laughs> I can't wait to... and he's literally yeah, just a hole can... in the floor. <laughs> I can't wait because that's the reason why I can't wait till we get to the India episode. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I saw the one where he goes to Egypt. I got oh, that one's good too. That was such a he's talking about show. the pyramids. He's like, he's like, if if this was in my neighborhood, you know, they'd be like, tear it down. It's a death trap. <laughs> 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 talking about the pyramids. <laughs> All right. So the speaking of the hot girlfriend, she sent me this awesome Texas Chainsaw Massacre lunchbox. Nice. Now awesome. and then and it was filled with uh, with candy, which I ate. There was a Scaries, which was the Smarties from Canada, Yay. but the Halloween version. Scary. They look nothing yeah. different except they were orange and black. That, that is about it. And Kinder eggs. And I got a Kinder eggs. Yes, Kinder which eggs. had these stupid little. Bouncy things that I'm keeping anyway because I'm a fucking pack rat. Um, the disappointment at Aww. getting crap toys was and the fact that they sent two crap toys. Yeah, it was two the yeah. same crap toy. I was like, really, guys? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I usually get good things. Like last time I got these like little dinosaur figures. That was pretty yeah. cool. But this time Hagrid it was like the weird jumping toys. But Hagrid um, moment you open a Kinder Egg and a toy is so crap you wished you choked on it. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter though because the point of the Kinder Egg for me is the actual chocolate because there's no other chocolate like the Kinder Egg. The they have their own mixture. Good. You can actually get. It's just, very good. You can actually get just the chocolate as well. They have like little chocolate bars of it. You can get but, it's really good. Okay, but it doesn't go with the toy though. Oh. <laughs> it the okay, apparently it's not all about the it's, chocolate. No, but it is all about the chocolate. <laughs> but you also get a toy, so I might as well get the one with the toy, not without you, you the toy. Know, you may already know about this, but you can actually get large Kinder eggs that have like big toys inside that you have to. Like, uh, girlfriend, you, you know your new job. <laughs> There's also now Easter packs that are set up for you know the Easter Bunny to hide that are yeah. filled with like twelve different things yeah. and toys and eggs <laughs> and other things. And my the kid is going to get spoiled. <laughs> Your kid? What about your boyfriend? I won't be excited about Kinder Eggs when they start coming to the, yeah, the other guys. You actually make it to Calgary when the expo happens, because you had me buy those tickets, and you can have all of the Easter stuff you want. Okay. I'll make it there. Next, uh, she sent me bat socks, which may not fit, but I'm going to try anyway. Bat socks. I think they just look small. I think they just... I think they're going to stretch. Socks. I think it'll be right. Stretch. You'll be fine. I know. <laughs> I'm, shut up. I'm paranoid. <laughs> what if they do But she fit? also saw this awesome, awesome cat costume for Sherlock. Who? Bite me. Funny story. I tried to put on, but she was, like, struggling. Oh. And when the struggle, it got turned inside out. And then she ran around the room as I was trying to catch her to take it off of her. 
to try to keep it, keep away from me. Like I'm trying to take it off. You come back. <laughs> and I'm I, I was like reaching for her at one point and I fell down between my bed and my bookshelf. <laughs> I'm sure that like, calmed like her right down. <laughs> I'm like stuck and like blue rays are falling on me and shit. <laughs> I was like, ah, I'm being buried. Like, ah, ha, who, man? That serves you right. <laughs> I was laying there laughing. I'm just dying laughing, right? And she comes over and, like, it's like, are you okay, who, man? Like, sniffing me. And I grabbed her, like, real quick. And I was like, ah. Gotcha. Get off her. And, like, buried in blue. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. Uh, next, uh. <laughs> Uh, I bought this for myself, and then I showed it off on S and I, and then uh, uh, she told me it was uh, it was uh, something she bought for me, so All I returned right, it, so, and then. Yeah. And now you. Ta da! Here's my copy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Look at that alternate. Oh. Yeah, look at that alternate cover without any nudity. Hooray! Yay! So many great articles. Uh, and last. Right, you're going to start doing UK titles, and so I got Stalker Ooh. from the UK. It's the same as the US one, just different region. This is a Tarkovsky, Andre Tarkovsky. Anyway, it's a it's a film that I have heard so much about. I have not seen. I have seen clips of, and I Wait desperately wanted to see. It is, is a that... film that um, heavily inspired slasher films, along with a bunch of other art films and other, other crazy nice. shit. And yeah, is that, it's apparently... is that a Criterion? Yeah, it's, the UK, it's one of the first Criterion UK titles. Wow, cool. Have a different spine number? Nope, still oh, 888, hey, same so, spine number. So we're getting Arrow over here. Now they're finally getting Criterion over there. That's awesome. And they're a lot cheaper over there. Are they? Sometimes. Oh. Sometimes. Oh. And another title. <laughs> uh, for Canada, sure. Yeah, actually, actually, take it back. For you, it'll be cheaper. For me, it'll be about the, it'll be a wash half the time. Depends on the uh, exchange rate, but for you guys, actually, it's probably cheaper. Like, what the hell, actually? You keep saying, "Oh, extremely high CPU usage." It tells me the percentage of CPU usage is hovering at like sixty percent. Yeah, that's not extremely high. It, it can take it. Just relax. Oh, dude. Uh, so, P. Large is like, there was a time. There's a time that crap ten Kinder Egg toys were something you had to build. It was fun to build it without looking at the instructions. <laughs> now they only give you a toy that may be in only two parts, if not already constructed. Yeah, I, I, I agree. They, well, I, all the like, little figurines that before were two or three pieces. It depends like, on little they are. Like, some of them you do yeah. require more assembly, but others you don't. It, it, it depends on what the toy is, really. Like, I know. Some of you be like, well, I saw Kinder Eggs at Target last week. They're not the same chocolate. That chocolate's made by Nestle. It's yeah. also the Kinder Egg. It's separate because people are paranoid the kids can somehow waltz down a giant eight-inch thick <laughs> cock worth of plastic. <laughs> They're designed to not go down children's throats, and if they do, they have holes in them. Yeah. Your kids, it's That's right, very unlikely your child will die. Yeah. It's plus maybe watch your fucking kid. <laughs> what a concept. Yeah, Be a fucking right. Parents, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So is that it, or do you have? No, do you have I want else? YouTube to do it for me. All right, that's, that's all awesome. of it. That's some good stuff. That's gotta go away. That's gonna go on display. Good good stuff, man. I, I will get interested in Kinder Eggs when they really, really large and they start having like pop vinyls or Q figs in them. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell, dude, pop, pump, uh, pop, Funko and Kinder Eggs team up because that would be awesome. That would be yeah, a Funko a pop egg. A giant fun pop pop egg like this yeah. with a Funko pop inside it. Dude, that'd be big, so cool. Big one, yeah. Big one, yeah, yeah. Or, little, or the little keychain. Yeah, I guess you could do little, little ones. You need a little sure. keychain. I forgot like about that. that. Yeah, the little Funko keychains. That'd be cool. I'd buy those. I'd buy those even though they were American and they had not this good chocolate. Because <laughs> there's nothing wrong with Nestle chocolate. It's just not Kinder chocolate. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've tried actual Kinder chocolate, and yeah. It's different. It's good. I've even tried the ones that are like, there's no, well, there is a toy in it. It's like split down the middle. Like one side has the toy, and the other side has like this soft, like almost ganache oh, that you can I hate like. those. Those are the worst. Oh, no, I love those. those I think that's, that's some of the best tasting chocolate. So, so One, we got them imported. Pointed <laughs> out to me today that's completely obvious. For some reason, I didn't make the connection. Uh, Josh Brolin will basically be in the two biggest superhero movies of the summer. In both of them. Yeah. I know, right? Cable and Deadpool 2. 
fucking Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. So yeah, and and they're they're promoting it like Cable's the villain, but he's probably only gonna be the villain for part of the movie. Come on, you know. Guys. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they want to spin Josh rolling off into his own ser- movie. And you know they do because Fox has no other idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just being truthful. From his hit at least movie, everyone recognizes him from the Goonies. Yeah. Do <laughs> this. But I mean, to his credit, he's playing two characters that are dynamically different. Vastly. It's a clue. Cable. In both power and yeah. demeanor and everything. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, at least it's not a fucking Human Torch Captain America. Oh, I hate that Human Torch so much. Which one? Yeah, people gave Ryan Reynolds just flack for hate, fucking hate, Deadpool the and Green Lantern, which were what? two different fucking universes. Chris Evans? He was a perfect yes, Johnny Storm. What are you talking about? No, I hate him, not the fucking character. He's, I, he, like, he's uh, a rapport with him. Michael Chiklis? No, thing? listen was... to me. I hate him as Captain America. I've always had a problem with him as Captain America, yes. I see. I always have. You can go back to the early S9s and I'm saying, I like the movie, but he's just not the Captain America for me. I see. And, he's in, and by the way, he's the star of the best superhero movie, in my opinion, ever made. I know. Well, so I can look past this, you know. Yeah. See, you remember. I do. Because I remember you, you were hyping that up long before I actually saw it. But now I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2, so... I mean... <laughs> That was That's, a lot of fun. It was really good. Yeah, that one's good. I gotta watch it again to make sure, though. <laughs> I love I both the Guardians think... of the Galaxy movies. I, I, actually didn't I don't anything. think I'm the only one. Oh, sorry. No, I loved them both, but I don't think the second one was nearly as good as the first. Really? Really? Wow. Oh, uh, it was fine. Uh, I don't know, gonna, man. Gonna, Mr. Blue forget. Sky was really good in that one scene. <laughs> you gotta forgive Raz. Yeah. He's, he's, got a, he's got hellish delay uh, when he was doing his pickups I could hear myself talking at the end of my piece. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, he's got delay. You guys have to forgive him. He's delay. not trying to talk over anybody. He's not like bad at communicating. He just has a delay compared to the rest of us. So. Yes. Technical limitations as it were. Yeah. Something you can control. It happens. I really like yeah. uh, Josh Dolan <laughs> in Planet Terror. Take the L. No, my opinion is I don't like Chris as well. Evans as the as Captain. He's a fantastic person. By the way, I'm not at all shitting on Chris Evans as a person. Because I have seen the Twitter. I have heard all the stories. He is, by all accounts, a very good person. So oh, I, yeah, I no problem yeah. with him as a person. And there was that kid. Who, the, I know the way you're talking about, too. There was a kid who was getting bullied, like, relentlessly. And yeah. And did that video about just how, you know, school was hell. And yeah. And it's like, would you like to get tickets to the premiere of... <laughs> whatever, like the new Avengers movie, whatever was coming out. Yeah, at the, the time. new one, I think. And the newest like, one, I think. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'll uh, make it happen. <laughs> fuck yeah. It's like Captain America himself making it happen. Yeah, dude. You know? By all accounts, he's a great person. So I'm not shitting on, on him at all. I just don't like his portrayal of Captain America. I see. I'm interested um, in how the, the succession if they're going to give it to, uh, what's, it, is it, what's his name? Mackie, who plays uh, 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 fucking. Uh, which face with the wings, Falcon, Falcon. or or they're gonna give it to Winter Soldier? Like, who are they gonna give the mantle to? Because both people in the comics have been Captain America this time. So I really like Falcon. I'm really liking Falcon in the movies. I don't imagine. Uh, I imagine yeah. it's gonna be a fight between Falcon and Winter Soldier over the mantle. Rose, uh, have, Rose yeah. loves Falcon as well. Like she watched. Uh, I was when I was watching Winter Soldier. She was just kind of playing on the computer. But anytime Falcon was on, she'd look over and she'd watch those parts. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so who's Anthony that? Mackie, like, is that his name? Falcon. It's like, he's awesome. It's like, I know. <laughs> Forgive is. me, I don't remember his name. I think it's I Anthony Mackie or something. I don't remember his name off the top of my head either. Someone in the chat will correct me at some point here. Uh, yeah, I really liked Josh Brolin in Planet Terror. Hi, Kaiju. <clears throat> me too. Yeah. Aww, I actually just Kaiju. really liked Planet Terror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the other one too, even though it wasn't as. I de- wait, wait, wait! I like Death Proof. Death, Death Proof, Proof. amazing. Death Proof is my favorite. It wasn't as eccentric as you will. I, I like it's more I, dialogue driven, I like which I like anyway. So more because I think it was more fun. Oh, it is Anthony Mackie. I was right. Oh, look at that. There you go. Was that right? Uh, Did I say Anthony Mackie? Did I say something else? I need to see both of them again. I haven't seen them for a while. 
I'm yeah, really high, so like I don't remember what I even said. Speaking of interesting casting choices, what do you guys think of Hopper from Stranger Things being Hellboy? I love it. I love yeah. It. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. The sheriff. Yeah. I, Why not? I can see it. I can see it. I mean, I, I, I'd like to see him. I'd like to see I'm him excited, up in the actually. Yeah. I think. I think you haven't I, seen it yet. No, I've had. Yeah, the, oh, Hold shit. up. My... You best give me a link. Look. You can either look it up. It's actually easier than on my sir? damn right. phone. Okay, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Look sir, up the Hellboy. actor's name, Hellboy, and there's actual a picture All of right. him in, in the yeah. fucking makeup, and it actually looks Andrew really fucking James good. David Harbour. Hellboy. Hold on. Yeah, there it is. Found it. It just typed Stranger Things Hellboy. Oh, holy fuck. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, dude. Hang on a second. Holy let me, fuck. Uh, yeah, dude. Let me get this picture. I got I'm it. I'm excited. I it says it this was off last year. I'm so oblivious. Uh, it's such a hard on for Hellboy for like, the movies. But... Okay, hold on a second. I Fair. got it here. I... Oh my God! Jesus Christ! I'm... And how my he talks in the show, I can see him doing a really oh, good Hellboy. Christ! There we go. So I'm, I am Dave excited. Oh. As Hellboy. Oh. Wow. I mean, I just like <laughs> look at him. That looks amazing. Just fuck's sake, that's a... even though I have a hard on for Ron Perlman as Hellboy, he's probably gonna be really good. Uh, well, I yeah, like I Ron like Ron Perlman, Perlman but uh, <laughs> Ron Perlman. Is I'm amazing. thirsty for this one. Yeah. Holy shit! So I'm sitting here. Holy fuck, guys! I don't know what to do with myself right now. <laughs> do, you, do you need a box oh. of Kleenex? Like any uh, I have a box, box of Kleenex. Kleenex. I just might need to turn. My... I might need to step away you from You can it, use guys. the one I had when I first saw the picture. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think my only problem right here is that that Samaritan doesn't look the same, and I kind of wish they would have kept the gun the same since the gun was pretty close to the comic. But all right. Oh, uh, well. I'll, I do I'll, have to agree. I, it might just be for the pose. It may not be that they're finished with the new prop. Because they do have yeah. to make a new prop. They can't use the same old prop. So, I mean, I... Yeah. I hope they make. I, mean, I hope they make it look more like the comic. Is what I'm saying. But God, that looks good. Is that filming right now? I, would I have to say it is. I believe so. Yeah. I'm still waiting for Bill and Ted three, and uh, fucking Beetlejuice <laughs> two. I'm waiting. Hold on, there's uh, there's another. I'm picture waiting for here. you on that one. Oh my God, Neil Marshall's directing it. Oh. <laughs> hey, Crystal <laughs> Golden wrote the screenplay. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. And Mina Jovovich is in it, and he ain't hey, hey, What skin, the fuck? Hey, Skin Slip, I don't know if you heard, but they're doing a new Hellboy movie. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't <laughs> Hellboy, dude. Oh Here my go. god! Here's another picture. On the staircase. <laughs> That's pretty good. And David Harbour describes it as, quote, a dark monster movie. Uh, Mike Mignola has screenplay credit, by the way. Oh wow! I say his name wrong. I think. That's. I think that's how I. I yeah, Mignola or Mignola. I can never pronounce it right. Uh, Mystic. Yeah. I don't think the question is whether I cream my pants. It's whether it's how many times did I cream my pants? <laughs> <laughs> how, how dripping wet his pants are. Brian Gleason's in this too. I love Brian Gleason. He's cool. Wow. Well, that sounds pretty awesome. Triple shot. To say when that's coming I'm, out. I'm so stoked. Wait, wait. Who's this? Let me I see. Maybe it's. Uh, I just go on IMDb. Uh, the cinematographer that. for Wonder Woman is in doing this. Nice, David Harbour. He also did Beauty and the Beast. Oh man. And 302. Oh boy, 2018, sometime also... this year. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Holy fuck, he's also done all the like classes. Oh no, <laughs> January, January 11th, 2019. That's when it's supposed to come out. Oh, dude. So they're probably going to be bringing it up at right now. the it's guaranteed right now. Comic-Con when Justin goes. They might show some fucking uh, Hellboy shit. Emerald Pretty City, cool. I could see. You know, I still have to see Golden Army. It occurred to me, I've not seen that one yet. What? What? Oh, my I, God. Really good. It's an original Hellboy story, I, dude. I've, I've seen the first one several times, and I have the director's cut, but... Uh, and Mike Mignola considers it canon, so it takes place at some point also during comics. Golden Army? Or at least a version of it. Yeah, a version of that story takes place in comics. I don't think it's ever been done in comic form, but nice. it may have. Well, good. But it's technically canon. Something to look for. Yeah. 
Mystic out. Well, now I have. Sorry, what? Now I have to go back and watch the original again. Yes. I have to say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mystic asks to my Punisher fans, do you think it's worth making another one for the silver screen, or is the Netflix series enough? Uh, Netflix series is fucking. Oh, oh, straight fire. I can saying. tell you with fucking confidence, the series is amazing. <laughs> the series will be the best version of Punisher and uh, in motion that we'll get for probably years. I don't think anything, I don't think movie can copy. They did really good with the casting. Yeah, yeah. I think there's maybe like one or two episodes. I think like you probably could have crimmed about a chunks of them off, and they could have made twelve episodes instead of thirteen. But like, yeah, it's not a lot of fat on that on that on that beast. So it's good Clean, shit. Mean, mean punishing machine. <laughs> yes. Like they got the characters down in that show. I, I really yeah, need to get that person who wrote that still. Uh. Dude, Jessica Jones season two is about to drop. Oh yeah. Yeah. Justin, you ready for that? You ready for that? Love season one. When are we getting season three of Daredevil? Justin, is that this year too, or? Justin. Stoud. I think. Oh, there you are. Okay. You said he had an hour. Couldn't hear you. Because I muted Daniel myself. So I'm call. just like, I said yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I muted myself. So I just kept saying, like, even though I was still muted, I just kept God, saying, no. I said yeah. <laughs> Getting angry at me for nothing. That's great. Just seeing him muted, just be like. <laughs> you hear me laughing the rest. Yeah. Oh, okay, a yeah, season three of Daredevil comes out this year too. Yeah. Sweet. And then we're probably done with Netflix. Probably don't won't stay. Because Disney's moving everything to Watch Disney. Me. Yep, and I bet you won't be as good. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna sign up like a fucking sheep. Don't mind me. But you know what? Well, I mean, can't miss my Marvel shows, dude. If if that's the case, then we got a pretty good cycle of shows. On Netflix, there. Yeah, one of the best Marvel well, shows we'll ever get. Here, here's here's the even bigger problem to me than Disney getting their own streaming service. The DC streaming service is dropping this year. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. another ten dollars I'm gonna spend. Fuck. Yeah. Keep up with my goddamn superheroes, man. Fucking hell. I'm trying to you move guys out. think of the Fuck DC guys. movies, actually. Seriously, it's getting, it's getting oversaturated already. Like, there's just too many goddamn streaming services. We're not made of money, people. Yeah, for sure. That's what happens when everyone's like, what? oh, we can do that, too, when they yeah. obviously can't do it as good. No, everyone wants a piece of the pie. Like, uh, I'm predicting this. Uh, based well, yeah, on... they lost money since everyone went streaming. Based yeah. On... So they had to pay $150 for their damn cable bill. Yeah. Based on the way Disney has executed all their websites, I'm guaranteeing you this fucking this streaming service is not going to be a dud on launch. Yeah. So this is going to be unintuitive crap. So instead, we'll pay $150 a month for our 15 streaming services. Exactly. Like, yep. That that's my point. Is people say, "Oh, I cut the cord. I'm only using streaming services." Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck you, cable companies. Like, how much are you paying every month for those fucking streaming services? <laughs> Probably about the same as what you paid for cable. Yep. Man, That's this why people do. like you I've been trying will just sit back and go, <laughs> I don't give you an, any of that shit. To yeah. give you an example, the Disney Movie Club's website has been broken for two fucking weeks. I can't log in. And they e emailed me two weeks ago about fucking responding to a title. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I can't great. fucking cancel it because your fucking website's broke, you dumb <laughs> fucking cunts. <laughs> Oh, you sound like the people on Pokemon Go and that shit. I'm gonna shit fucking launched. call my fucking bank and be like, "Put a stop payment on this now." Yeah. They're not getting a dime from me. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that noise. That's yeah. ridiculous. And uh, yeah, but yeah, Sean's right. I mean, like I just got Prime, so that bumped my streaming bill for a month, pretty much. Yeah. At a hundred dollars, pretty much. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing about I Prime... I did Prime by, by year, so... Yeah, it was Prime you paid for it by the year, so you just pay it up front. And it's actually one you of the can. cheaper... It's yeah, actually one of the cheaper ones. Um, yeah, you're only looking at, what, nine, eight dollars a month? Not it's like 11. I remember getting the two-day shipping as part of it as well. Ten, ten I think. The two-day shipping, like, yeah, well, I, I paid, like, 79, like, basically 80 dollars 
for a year. Oh, right. Get three and, months. Right. Um, so divide that by 12, it's like not even 10 bucks. I mean, yeah, I'm getting. I'm actually getting yeah. homestruck for a few months because the seven something. My girlfriend here has access to a bunch of Criterion, so we're going to just watch a bunch of Criterion, so I'm going to pay for a few okay. months of film truck and then cancel it. That's the thing now. What people are going to do is they're going to – like me, I can only afford two streaming services a month. So I have to cancel one, yeah. throw up another one, and then I can use that yeah. one for a while and I cancel one. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See, that's, that's a smart way to do it. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it definitely well, saves you money. Yep. Well, I, I would have paid the 100 up front, but – for some reason, it wouldn't give me that option. Oh. I don't yeah, you can, one I of think my friends is doing that actually. Unless, oh, I don't unless you, uh, they do monthly Here. too. Well, unless the CA, the CA might be different. Like I only got the annual option. <laughs> oh yeah. Enjoy your free month, and then we're gonna ding you eighty bucks. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. Not. <laughs> Fuck it. But I figured. You know what? I mean, money will be a little tight this week, but I want to worry about it for a year. So why not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. Uh, but yeah, basically, in terms of streaming services I subscribe to, I literally have Netflix and Prime, and that's it. You know, it's funny you talk about reinstating your account and then canceling it. That's exactly what my friend's doing with Game of Thrones. She'll just fucking um, yes, working, wait till that comes out, pay for it, and then cancel it when it's done. Working in the cable business, uh, we get that every year. that a new Game of Thrones season comes out, like the week before the season starts. Uh, how much is it to get HBO? It's like 18 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Put it on. And then, and then there's usually a promo. It's like you get it half price for the first three months. Perfect. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah it's like, I totally know what you're doing, and that's cool because it's a great show <laughs> yeah man i can't wait for the new season uh the last season dude it's gonna be all over i can't believe it took you so long to get to it man uh, uh, i was like i wanted to talk about it shame game, shame game fucking thrones? shame yeah i've been watching it since season one what are you talking about oh i might be crossing with someone up you might be yeah no i've been watching it since the beginning like i yeah i dude. started uh the week episode nine aired of season one. I okay. Like, okay. I gotta check this out. So then I binged through it and I was like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> like flat out. There's a reason why it's what, 9.5 on IMDb with a million fucking reviews? Oh, it's crazy. I, uh, yeah, so basically since then, um, I've been watching it as it comes out, like every week. Uh, whenever. It's it really, really good. It was just buying the Blu rays that I took forever on. I was behind on the Oh, movie. man. I'm all up to date now. Got them all. Got them all. Right on. Those it's are good so to have. worth it, by the way. Not just for the incredible quality, like they're just beautiful to look at, but for the extras. There's so many extras on there. Is there? Oh, yeah. Like they give you not just behind the scenes stuff about the making of the show, but I always talk about this whenever I bring this subject up. But they've got uh, featurettes that are done kind of like motion comics. Um, oh, I've seen those on YouTube. Yeah, they're they're histories of Westeros, and like they give you the other parts of the lore and the backstory and everything. And it's those are so amazing too. They're narrated by the actors from the show in character as their characters. So it's as if the characters themselves are telling you the history and stuff, and um, it's fucking awesome. There was a really good one actually that um, they did in that style uh, with. Uh, that came with the season seven set that was the like the whole backstory of the uh the mad king and everything and how the targaryens came over and took over westeros and the story of how the dragons were uh ultimately defeated and disappeared for a long time like about a thousand years worth of back history and like this 45 minute epic presentation it was just amazing i was like i have to check it out can we get a show of that because that was really interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling they're going to do, like, the Baratheon War as a spinoff series, if they yeah. do anything. Well, that was part of it, like, part of this this uh, history one was, that they included with Season 7. Oh, yeah. Because they went into that. Well, and, so uh, they probably throw that in. And one, really of the, one of the narrators was the actor who played uh, Viserys, the, uh, 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 Daenerys' brother. Oh, yes. Season 1. Yeah. 
So he's talking about it's all the things leading up to season one, right? So he's talking about how like well, I'm gonna come back and take the throne back. But of course, we all know how that turns out. But <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny to hear him like when he's still in that mode of like we were kings and we were amazing. Blah, blah. It was just just also great to hear that actor come back just to do that. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun. I, but uh, I, I really want to get those myself. But yeah, at this point, at this point, it's like. Just wait for the complete series, because you only got one more season. Well, there's only one more season, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. The, uh, uh, but I have to be honest. It's kind of cool to be on the same level as other people watching it when it's new. Especially yeah, this show. It is. Because then you, you get all the speculation. Well, especially since they caught up to the books. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally. Because then everybody's on a level playing field. Like, okay. Yeah, nobody else can happen. You, yeah. You're just trying to be a dick and spoil things by saying stuff that happens in the book. Well, now you can't because you don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> so. You bastards. Two words. Zombie bear. <laughs> I hope so. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. I know, huh? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a wrap for this week. It is 11.05, and I'm going to go away now. <laughs> I'm going away now. But, um, I might do some streaming after because uh, I got some stuff to do. Maybe do some more editing. Maybe even play a game. I don't know. I could play a game. Do I feel like playing a game? Those are always fun. Uh, do I have the hard drive space to record a game if I play a game? That's the real question. <laughs> That's one of the Is that why I you haven't been playing any games? If you have to question it, probably not. I do not have the hard drive space. I just... <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Okay, mental note. Next payday. Buy another hard drive. Okay, will do. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Um, there's a new Closer Look video tomorrow. Um, a lot of people requested this one after I did my little overview of the uh, 1967 Spider-Man animated series DVD sets. They said, hey, why don't you show your 80s Spider-Man DVD sets? So that's what it is. It's all about the 80s ones. So check that out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That goes live at 6 a.m. Pacific. So crack it down. Enjoy it with your morning coffee. And uh, yeah, you guys got anything exciting happening on your channels this week? Anything coming up? I gotta do something uh, finally. Okay, skin sip well, might do you're... something. <laughs> Finally. Well, f well, for me, if you're into country music, a friend of mine's trying to uh, produce an album in Nashville. So I put up a video promoting her and asking for donations to her go find me. So if that's something you're into, there's that. There you go. Cool. Stout, anything? I got, I'm making t shirts now. Oh, if anybody yeah. wants to buy t-shirts. Actually, Stout, oh, yeah, you got a bunch of t-shirts now. Stout's making some pretty uh, awesome t-shirts. Very funny stuff. And if you know Stout There's or my... us, they're available on Amazon. a lot of the sayings on them, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, check it. Do you have That's a video awesome. about them or, or something, Stout? Probably will, yeah. Okay. Makes sense, too, right? <laughs> well, uh, you know. Any, well, now any... you know what you need to do for this week. There you go. So look out yep. for Stoud's t-shirt infomercial this week. You need to make do a shit, like a silly 30-second commercial. Buy these shirts! Do, 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 do. Like yeah. rapid cutting. Lots of extreme Rapid, 90s. quick cutting, zoom in. It's just a screenshot of your computer screen. And then those, no, that freaking... it's a camera looking at your computer screen with the, the shirt. And you digitally zoom in slowly. Picture and just chop shirt. that up. No, no, no. <laughs> All I'm thinking about right now is that fucking clip from that Indian movie or TV show or whatever that I shared the other day. Uh, I can't remember where it's from, but it's just like so many quick edits. And just like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this week, uh, as I've kind of been doing for the past few weeks here, I got a few more Amiga music selections for you. Uh, this time around, I picked three by uh, a musician that is a favorite of mine and Cass's. Uh, a music module composer from Texas, actually, goes by the name of Sidewinder. So I picked three of my personal faves of his. I've got a lot of faves of his because he just does amazing music. But this is three that I think you guys will particularly enjoy. 
So enjoy that, and we will see you next week. Until then, thanks for coming out. Thanks for chatting, and sayonara. Penis.
against us. Good night, everybody.